Hi everyone, Mature Simmer here. So, welcome back. So, here on the FOC servers, here to go ahead and do the daily work. So, I've got to... Oh, it's on the other side. I had this problem yesterday morning. I'm still trying to get used to stuff. So, the truck to move the pigs is over here. So, let's hop in. So, if you're new and you've not seen any episodes before, I've got a couple farmhand positions at this point. Uh, this one's just some daily maintenance. So, it's pretty quick, usually. So, let's see. We are full, so we're going to go ahead and select these. And we're moving all of them to the trailer. So I had asked if you'd been on probably yesterday. I had mentioned there was a gap of a couple months with the pigs. So I did ask, like, do you want me to skip a day? And they said, no, go ahead. It'll all work itself out over time. And, you know, I also felt like, well, if it's full, obviously, if we don't, clean it, then it would just never, uh, never allow them to reproduce and we'd kind of perpetuate the problem. So that's a little bit of what I figured was going to happen. But, um, so that's one batch, 28,000. Uh, when they're uh, one more month old, they sell for 30. So there's a little bit of a, a loss there because we're selling them a little bit early, but um, I think the 13 month old is is what he said, you know, that you want to do normally. So that's the second batch. So we basically take care of the animals here for NAV and uh, make sure the productions are running and nothing stalled and Obviously, if it is, get get things going, but more importantly, just kind of keep things ready to be as productive as possible. Okay, so I think um, I think the pigs are not close enough here. So let me see, because I've had that happen before, and yeah, that's what I want is the silver star. All right. So, go put this back. Oops. It's kind of over here. So, for the main farmhand uh, job I talked about yesterday that we were heading into winter. So, there is that going on. Let's take a look quickly over here, see where things stand. Because I can do things a little bit out of order. Alright, so we are out of hay on the farm, is what I've been told. So we just, I keep uh, going ahead and throwing hay in. They do chew up quite a bit of hay. I'll have to figure out where he's got hay. Oh, well, it's not that hard to figure out. There it is. It's just then a matter of figuring out the best way to get it into the trailer. So that may be something to take a look at. Um, yeah, I'll worry about that later. So what I may do is pop back in here later today and try to get that cleaned up. But... I had also mentioned uh, the, the pigs were running a little short of food. So if I look at the pigs here, yeah, we're down to 25. So he had said that he do, uses sorghum and barley to feed the pigs. So I'm going to need to do that. But before I do that, uh, any full pallets of eggs I move, so I'm going to go ahead and move those. Alright, so... Let's see. 
So it looks like I can go ahead and put barley in here and then sorghum. So let's see, if I look at the pigs, so I'm not sure if this is the white one or, I think they both go in as grain, although sorghum may not. So let's see. So there's more, 58,054, but anyway, um, let me change that. There we go. Alright. So, need to put that in. Now, let me take a look at what we've got. Right, so there's more base food, so basically yeah, I think what it's doing is... Alright, interesting, because now it's like not responding. It's not giving me the option again. Come on. So, go ahead and we'll get that in there. Interesting. A little bit of a problem. I'm hoping I can... Hoping I can get where I need to. But I think it was because I backed up. So, I just need to not do that again. Alright, and then that will... get the rest of it in there. I was worried about that. So now this is something, again, that I notice as a difference. Um, a setup like this would not be able to be... Oh, I thought I was done. Alright, let me go back, get that in there. A setup like this would not be allowed to be used in FSN. This would be considered unrealistic. Um, I don't know. I, I don't recall seeing anything uh, like that in the rules here, and this is kind of what I've been asked to do. So, okay, so that is full, so that's okay. So, let's see. We'll put this in here. And in the meantime, right, so yeah, we've got 100. So yeah, so the food does kind of work out, like you said. Just obviously it's going to be a little bit... Uh, I don't want to back this up because I'm going to have the same problem. So maybe on this end I come around the other way or something, but I think that might make it worse. I don't know. Because also as I was pulling by there, it was a bit of a, a different thing. So yeah, I guess sorghum counts as base food, and then the other does. Now, I, I thought they had root crops, but they didn't tell me to do that. So again, I'm doing what I'm told. So, we definitely need to get barley in, and then some of the sorghum. So let's see. Alright, well, there's not a lot of sorghum left, so this is going to get interesting, maybe. Although it is March, so I suppose we're already heading into the flip side of things. But yeah, you can see we're down under 300,000, or the barley had a bit. Um, oh, I see. So he's already got, like, the fill limit set. So I won't play with that, I guess. 
Um, hopefully it'll follow nicely and won't get stuck around the flagpole. So, as I'm thinking through things, I know I've probably been a bit disjointed in sharing or talking about what was going on, but I've seen a soybean contract that I think I'm going to get into this morning. I've also got someone else who has told me that they're going to uh, maybe give me some work later today but uh, I may or may not have time because they were talking like 7, 8 o'clock at night. They're like, hey, if you're on at this time tomorrow, I'll give you something. Well, I'm, I don't normally play at that point, so if they don't send me anything in between, um, then I'm not going to really do anything for them, but I guess I can't necessarily help that. All right, so I see. So we're doing that why is it backing up or oh I see it's just because it's tipping it's having some difficulty um, so I guess maybe it wasn't me backing up that caused the problem last time at some point there we should hit the sorghum trigger And I assume we're not quite going to get enough space here, especially since we came and dumped like 4,000 over here. So, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and, and let that go. All right. So we've done the chickens. Oh, we have to feed the cows. So that's the other thing. And I had moved some feed over here the other day, refilled this TMR truck, so I'm assuming this shouldn't empty fully, but it might get pretty close, but as you can see, they eat a lot, so we were at like 118,000, we got so basically 770,000. So tomorrow we'll need to get some more, but there we go. We have 135,000 in there. Now we check productions. So everything's looking pretty good. You know, everything's green, so I'll worry about it when it's not green, I guess. TMR, we did what we could. The silage is staying full. Uh, these are just storage, so yeah, it's just turning things in, so it's converting grass into silage there. Same thing. This is where we want to go, because there's always some stuff going on over here. So this is the same as I had yesterday, so I'm still trying to kind of learn the pattern, but um, four pallets have come out. That's what I was looking at when I came in here before. I'm loading that trailer. I can grab these couple. Uh, what is happening? Why did it get stuck? Is it... Is it... Uh, let's see. Let me tip this back. I think maybe the forks were poking into the ground somewhere or something. Come on. Because I was going to say, I can get both of these. So, trying to get this going. These are auto load, auto snap load trailers. So, you basically get it near the trailer, and the pallets will do their thing. And as long as I continue to get four, I'm going to keep having kind of a full row added to the trailer. So the bulk of what's on there got done very quickly because uh, there was stuff stacked on the ground as opposed to put on the trailer right away. I don't know why these things are working 
as they are today. Maybe I'm not zooming in to kind of spare your ears and mine. But not sure. So I think I noticed I'll probably run over to the repair truck over there and repair the forklift. It's getting a bit up there. And I know it gets a little more expensive the longer you wait. I, this community seems very focused on that particular aspect of things. So I certainly want to... Whoops. Well, that's interesting. I didn't have this problem yesterday, but maybe I came in at more of an angle. Because, yeah, I'm as low as I can be. But obviously if I hit a little bump... I'm going to have a challenge. So, I mean, the nice thing with this is because I'm, because the trailer snaps, like, it doesn't really matter that it's screwy on the fork like that. Like, if I tried to get this to a truck, I'd probably never use a forklift again because um, I, I don't enjoy that aspect, uh, loading the trailer specifically. It's just really challenging. All right, so I think... I've started to get familiar with these repair trailers on other servers, but I think the location is here, and then I go to the back. I see, activate the service function. Usually it's been open, so. All right, so I repair. So we'll do that and that. There we go. I suppose they have it closed normally, so I'll do that. So that was new. I've never had to do that. I was like, hmm, it's not working, but I was familiar with it before that, that that's how I repair things. Hey, there aren't deer this morning. This is my third day doing this work, and there have been deer over there all the time. All right. So... Greenhouses, he said he takes care of. And then the cotton is sitting over there and and working. And if it gets lower, I, I guess I'll figure out what we might need to do. Um, I don't know. It's possible. I guess let me go look. Because there's this thing with six bales on it. But it's kind of one of those that, again, I. It's not unloading that I can tell, but. I don't know. I'll, I'll leave it alone there. I'm thinking it's just taking it off of there. It's just interesting that it's not full. So at this point, I've done what I need to do. So I'm going to wrap this up for today as far as the work here. So let's move over to the next thing. I'll see you in a bit. All right. So they told me if Bella's on, they're in charge. So you can see, get one of the harvesters and another truck to field 69 and 68. So let's see. We're here. I'm right there looking out there. Um, I see 61 up there, 67, all right, so 69 and 68, so they're on 64, and it's all soybeans, so, okay, so basically, looks like we head over there, I need to get some fuel first, So, let me go to the yard here and see what I can see. So, they got a grass field here. So, I'm guessing somewhere out here we're going to have some fuel options. Um, let's see, that's all BGA... All right, so the challenge is... I 
think those are 69 and 68 over there. Alright, so this is 68. So I think this is what I want. Alright, so I'm looking for a JCB tractor. Well, that would be them. Ah, oh, okay. I see. Alright. So I can turn back around. It's probably easier than moving anything right now so let me circle around well hold on maybe not no i guess it, it's just over there on the other side of everything so let me head over there i assume they then run the fuel truck over at some point to fill it up so so it's always a challenge, kind of getting used to everybody's operation and what they're doing. But yeah, there it is. So I kind of went by it, but I saw supply silos and I didn't think realize it was hiding on the other side here. But there we go. So now I can go ahead and fill up. Perfect. So they said every 10 or 15 percent to go ahead and um, repair. As I talked about on the other farm, there seems to be much more of a focus here to keep the repair costs low. Again, all the operations are gargantuan. So this is the Poppenberger map. Um, again, I've heard of this map. I may have even done a map tour of this map, frankly. I don't recall. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave that there. And we'll come over, get the header, and we'll get going. So I'm going to have to grab a truck at some point. But in the interim, I can start here. So, I'll grab one of those Radeon trailers. I know those are the giant ones. So, they have hold 150,000 liters, so that is nice. All right. Oops, got to unfold the harvester. And Okay. There we go. I guess it was just not quite done yet. And away we go. So easy enough. Whoops. That's not what I wanted. So let's uh, do this and hopefully it'll reset itself the way I'm going. Hmm, not quite. I think there's a way, it may be snapping to the angles on the map. It is. So I think I've gone ahead and made the change. I have, and now I can go ahead and let this thing do what it's doing. So there's definitely some fun there with all of this, but uh, we'll keep that going. So the challenge I'm going to have, I guess, if I go to the owned equipment, like I don't know how I know which one I'm using. To tell because it doesn't give me a specific percent I guess I'm just estimating the 10 or 15 percent obviously I want to kind of take a peek and make sure that 
I'm um, not running over crop, so I, I need to just pay attention to that. That's going to be the biggest change. I think at the end here, because of the forest, I'm going to want to run along the edge so that I can then just go up and down. Um, all right, so we've got a little bit here that I'm going to have to do differently. It looks like the field moves a tiny bit. You can see how that line is set, so I'm going to have to do this and then come back and run the line again, and then it'll be clean. But So field design is not quite online with what I lined up with, so it's probably more me rather than it. But, you know, who knows? All right, so at this point, we'll head back. Let me pick this header up so that I don't take out any, um, any of the crop inadvertently. That can happen sometimes with destruction on. All right, let me put this down, and then we'll go forward. We'll suck up the last little bit here, so it's obviously going to be much slower than a full header, but it'll get some stuff done. As far as the coverage out the back, you can see it's kind of the same. So we'll go ahead and, as I said, we'll turn this in, but this will give me a little bit of room then to turn at the end when I get here, because otherwise I'm going to be buttoned up against the trees with the pipe hanging out and whatever. It's just going to get ugly. I've worked tight fields like that before, so not going to do it. So, so yeah, this is kind of the middle part of the fields, because the initial list was 31, 32, 35, 36, 37, 41, 67, and then finally 68, 69. So if I was on here myself, I would kind of be looking at them in order. Now this should be easier than what I ran into yesterday, is where I could at least look at the map and say, yeah, I, I don't have that field or that field, because they'll obviously change to harvested versus ready to harvest. So it would be pretty easy to go through, and maybe once I'm going, maybe we'll just take a look out of curiosity to see are they in fact handled. Um, so let's see, we'll go that way, alright, so I am going to run down and kind of manually go down the edge here, because as you might be able to see, you'll certainly be able to see now, the way I'm snapped, um, there's a tiny bit here that is too far over. Now, again, 68 is the one down there, so I suppose... Well, this might work anyway, so I might be able, well, now uh, I'll do this, and then I'll have to just come back and clean it later, because now we're going off the field a little bit, because of how this works, but this should work now, it should align and move over, so I'll have to fix that little bit, or I'll have that little bit left, but this will also then start to take some of um, some of what's going on there. Now, I'm a little confused because it looks... Oh, I see. They are down there on 68. I'm like, I see a harvester on the minimap, and I do because I'm like, I am right here on the road, but... So they're obviously just kind of going down the middle of... 68 and and doing that so I can probably just do what I'm doing and let this you know go with the field and then clean it up and then eventually straighten things out over there is what they're doing so which is perfectly fine but we're finally half full So, 
obviously, other than like working together, but this is kind of how it works, you know, if there's um, probably another person, if I'm them, I have someone run a truck. It's just soybean harvest so slowly that you kind of definitely want to go ahead and and uh, let the do the harvesting and then go ahead and do everything else after that so all right hitting some lag of course so they've got a truck up there I'm assuming they were filling the truck and going in that regard so now I'll probably just to get this part done I'll just start flipping around over here and then uh, should be good but I'll get that little piece come on turn ah hopefully it won't cause me a problem I think think I'm all right So we'll just kind of grab it this way, and we'll go from there. They may be looking at me like, what is this foo doing? Now they went and got their truck. But yeah, typically what I would do is have someone running trucks, and then like we could keep the harvesters moving all the time. Because that's the thing, like right now, like if we had something, they could go ahead and work it, and then everything would be good. So, I mean, I'll dig in here a little bit because it's the same. It's our field, and and that'll work. All right. So once I'm clear, I'm gonna then come back, and then I'm gonna go ahead, I guess, and go up to the top because I'm gonna have to get a truck which is up there too. But more importantly, it'll have my pipe out to the edge. Uh, am I off a bit? I hope not. I might be. That's the sadness. So, we'll see. So maybe I... Uh, boy. So I think, unfortunately, it may leave a little bit here. Uh... Not much, but yeah, because it took me a while to get the line set. So I'm going to have a little bit. All right, so there's just that tiny bit to try to remember to get at some point. So, and I know some folks, you know, rather than jump in the truck and move it around, they just kind of always empty, but you're still doing something. So I don't know. I think it ends up being six and one half dozen of the other on how this works. But once again, this is kind of the fun part of this is at least someone else is on. You know, we can go ahead and we can look and see what we've got happening here. So just getting along a little further, just trying to make sure I don't create a problem. Just grabbing myself a thumbnail. I was hoping to do it with a truck if I get another opportunity where we're both doing this because it was kind of nice with the harvester and the truck and but the two harvesters is good enough. Now I was snapped here. I should get all of this. All right, I did. All right, so I will go ahead here. We'll put the pipe out. And I will go grab a truck. Not that one. This one. Whoops. Interesting. How do I... Alright, I guess let me... Okay, it is open cover, but why is it doing that? I needed to open the other cover. Well, oh, I see. So, one open cover with N is the doors, the other open cover Z. So, tricky stuff. Not familiar. Whoop, that's a trailer I left there. 
I was just going to barrel right into that. Wouldn't that be a mess? It really, other than it being goofy, wouldn't really matter much. But So I turned the Jake brake off, so at least hopefully we won't get that insane sound anymore. It's good to know that you can do that too. So then instead of apologizing for these trucks, we're able to adjust that. And I'm sure people love it. Again, I suppose if all of you are like, no, give me give me all that ridiculous sound, I, I can do that for you, I suppose. It doesn't bother me, but I'm trying to be cognizant of your ears. So... Those are how farm injuries happen. Um, running around your truck and heading, running to, past the header and all I needed to do was tangle up my feet and um, I'd be in the soybean bin. That would be... That was probably a really gross visual. Sorry. But, um, anyway. So yeah, when you got a truck that takes 150,000 liters, um, that is uh, not much inside the truck bay, even though I've got a full harvester. So, you know, that's kind of the nice thing here, is we're going to have the ability to to uh, do quite a bit of harvest work here before the truck is full. Alright, it's almost not enough room, but Maybe I'll figure it out by the time I'm done with the field. Alright, so there we go. When we get down to the end... So there we go, maybe I'll... Maybe I'll do it this way, because we're headed that way. Eventually the truck will appear, and it'll all be... cool. So, you know, which, uh... Which thumbnail you think is better? I mean, I'm going to end up using the one I think is better because videos are right now way ahead in time. But, all right, where's this truck? Come on, this is a great shot. So, it'll show up at some point, but we're obviously... Oh, it doesn't help that somehow my cruise control is not on. I'm just putzing along here. <laughs> like, I am moving really slowly. I was. I was down to two miles an hour. See, but now my angle is shifting. Why is that truck not appearing? Come on, I saw it before. It's not like it moved. Oh, the horror. Did they move it? No, it's there. Oh, there we go. All right, it's coming into view. So there we go. Hopefully I remember to take those pieces out of the video as I'm doing stuff, but who knows. So now I'm curious. So they actually uh, go around and empty each time. I don't know. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but... I mean, I've gone... Yeah, I don't know that it does. I'm not sure. Because, yeah, I mean, I've, I guess I've only gone halfway, so I'm going to get about 25%. But, like, I can get a full four rows here if I keep, like, circling around every time. But they've got a bigger field over there, I think. So maybe they're getting close to 100% full. Maybe it makes sense. But I'm going to go circle and grab that little bit that wasn't set, because obviously I didn't have a line snapped yet. But let me clean this up. It's probably... Well, we're at 85. Let's see what we end up here. I'll be surprised if we even get the 15 liters. We don't. We got 5 liters. So that's sometimes the thing with, like, some crops. And it's just a matter of, you know, is it worth it sometimes? Like, if you got to go really far over, it's just obviously I'm here, so... It doesn't hurt anything to go ahead and, and just pick it up. But let's say it was like I finished the whole field and realized, ooh, I, I, I didn't do this. Like that wouldn't really be worth the effort to come back 
to, to grab five liters. So sometimes it's just, hey, you're doing as good a job as you can, and you go from there. So, at this point, obviously I've done my morning work for NAV, and now I'm working for this individual. I don't remember, I think it's like J, maybe J Boss? I don't know if that's right. And then, as you saw, I think that's Bellatrix over there. So, I'll be working with them. Which will be entertaining. But, uh, at this point, I'll go ahead and I'll give you guys a little bit of time lapse as we work together. And... We'll go from there. It'll be either, either be a time lapse or just a montage of regular work speed stuff or whatever, because that might be more interesting depending on what views I get. But I'll do something. It's not going to be as long as the last episode where I had a bunch of stuff going on and, and kind of really captured almost everything I did. But it'll be a, a couple minutes. It'll you know I'll, I'll give you a, I'll give you a song, whatever song I pick worth of footage and we'll go from there so enjoy mm -hmm. 